Hey people, it's 3D Beast, and I'm gonna show you today how to model this. Blender 2.5, and I gotta find this. And like you can see, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make this, which is pretty good. Not that much detail, but so. Alright. Okay, so now that you have a new Blender thing open, which I think I told you to do, but it's kind of obvious though. Yeah, so once you get that open, delete the cube, uh, go on to like Google Images or something. Google. Let's just look that up. And then look up Light Machine Gun. And I chose this one. Like, then just right click and save it. I already have that done, so I'm not going to bother doing it. So then just exit out of that. And go back to Blender. Click N. Do background images. Add image. And open. Then just put it on there. Oops. Oh, no, wrong thing. Crap. Reopen. Uh, like machine gun. Go back. And then turn the opacity up a little bit just to make it so it's easier to see. Now click N again to get rid of that screen. Add mesh. Cube. Um, so what we're going to make the, uh, today, and this part, is probably the handle, but what we're going to ma mainly be working on is the main body. We're not going to have that much detail yet. We'll do that in probably a different video. So, yeah. So, just go into edit mode with the cube, do control R, and do it right there. Um, and then do it twice, scale that up a little bit so you can get it to the exact same place. And then, wait, before you scale it down anything, just scale it down so it's like the width of an actual gun, which makes more sense. So then you go to these, uh, scale it down a bit. And then, yeah, so then you can move this down to make it look like a little more or less square like. And then, so now we start with the actual gun part. So just move these down, set it up a little, uh, so you get the actual shape of the gun. And what you want to try to do is you want to try to end the stuff at the and end the end of one vertice before you extrude it at the end of a point. So like that's one point. So you end all of that. So then you extrude it out, move this up a bit. Because we don't really want to scale it anymore because guns don't scale like that too much. Okay, then we do it again. And it's a little too big up here, too tall, so I'm just going to move that down. Same with right here, move that down. Okay, so extrude it out. Move it down a little bit, not much. Don't move the top up anymore even if it's like too much. So extrude it again. Bring this all the way down. Then extrude it out. Alright. Yeah, so you extrude it one more time. And oh no, we have to extrude it one more time and we scale it down to make it look like the front of the gun. So I guess save this and I'm just gonna call it Light Machine Gun Tutorial. Okay, so that's pretty much the front of the gun. And so yeah. So next thing you want to do is go back into edit mode, do control R, move to about right there. Then yeah, do control R again, move it to about that. Then you want to extrude this up, scale it down just a little bit, and extrude it up one more time, scale it down again. Then you do control R and you do like a bunch of times so you can make it into separate dots and stuff. And if you want to do the end, uh, well first you do control R up there, control R right there. And then you can do control R at the front and in the back. So that if you do those, it won't be like this up. So now you just select all the ones you're going to delete. Which I just double click it so I can get both of them selected in one. And then once you have all those selected, you click delete. 
and then do faces. So now you have it, so it has holes in it. And it's what it looks like if you smooth it out, but we're not going to do it quite yet. Yeah, uh, so... Now, so there's not, like, holes in it, like, all the way through. We're going to go back to edit mode, click Control Z, go back to vertices. And this might take a while, but you gotta do. You select two of those, which is actually four, because it can, uh, you select both of them automatically. And you just click space, you click F, which makes it so there's a space, so it's now, like, hollow under it. Yeah, and then you just do that with the rest of them. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. So, yeah, bye, and look in the next, and look in part two, where I'm probably going to make the handle, the trigger, and some of the stuff up there. So, see ya.